In today's episode, we'll recount a harrowing incident in which an elderly woman's dog was attacked while they were taking a leisurely stroll by a Florida lakeside. Despite the tremendous size difference between the alligator and her, the woman courageously intervened to protect her furry companion. What unfolded next is a chilling account of one of the most devastating alligator encounters in Florida's history. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the horrifying final minutes of Gloria Surge eaten alive by a massive gator. Florida is internationally renowned for its alligator population. It's estimated that nearly all freshwater bodies in the state are home to these creatures, with an estimated 1.25 million of them residing in Florida. Consequently, human-alligator interactions are quite common, with over 450 reported attacks since 1948, and the number of incidents is expected to rise, especially when people bring their small pets near alligator habitats. People's deep bonds with their pets often lead them to risk their lives to protect their furry companions. Many pet owners go to great lengths for their beloved animals, even risking their own lives. There are countless stories worldwide of individuals making extraordinary sacrifices to save their beloved pets. In 2023, a retirement community in Florida known as Spanish Lakes became the center of attention for a heartbreaking incident. This retirement complex had a reputation for keeping its residents active and content with a variety of activities, including swimming and golf, along with 24 lakes on the property for residents to enjoy. These lakes were created to enhance the mental and physical well-being of the community's residents. Little did they know the presence of an alligator within the tranquil waters, poised to endanger the elderly residents. One of the residents, Gloria Surge, had been living at Spanish Lakes for some time. She was familiar with the area and had made friends within the community. Her most cherished companion was her small dog, Trooper, who had been with her since she moved into the community. Trooper's presence brought joy to Gloria, and she relished taking him for walks in the beautiful surroundings, which had been a rarity when she lived alone. After her husband's passing, she chose to live among others rather than in the solitude that often accompanies Willwood. She cherished her well-behaved dog's company during her days and was eager to take him out for a walk on that fateful day. Despite the popular saying that a breath of fresh air is beneficial, Gloria was unaware of the danger that awaited her as she set out for her daily walk with Trooper. That afternoon, Gloria left her apartment with Trooper running ahead on his leash. Her plan was to walk around the nearest lakes, as they were the most beautiful, and offered an easy route home if she gets tired. She set off, determined to complete the first lap, taking in the breathtaking natural scenery. She exchanged greetings with neighbors as she approached the water's edge, her gaze fixed on the other side as she prepared for her walk. As she slowly circled the lake, she had no idea that she was being observed from a distance, a hundred feet away on the opposite shore. An alligator, measuring ten feet in length, had spotted Gloria and Trooper walking near the water's edge and had decided that one of them would be an easy target. It stealthily moved towards them, waiting for the right moment, then leaped from the water in an attempt to seize Trooper and drag him into the water. Gloria had to make a split-second decision, her dog, or herself. In a brave act, Gloria swung Trooper out of harm's way, saving him from the alligator's jaws. But their ordeal was far from over. The alligator, thwarted in its initial attack, turned its attention to Gloria, clamping onto her leg and pulling her into the water. She cried for help as she was dragged into the water, desperately waving her arms to attract the attention of nearby neighbors. The massive alligator had a vice-like grip on her leg and showed no sign of letting go while she was still alive. Gloria knew she had only a limited time before it would be too late. Trooper barked frantically on the grass, witnessing his owner's struggle, but there was little a small dog could do to assist. In the end, Gloria sacrificed herself to save her dog. Carol Thomas, a 76-year-old neighbor, overheard the commotion and saw Gloria being dragged into the water by the enormous alligator. In a panic, Carol called the police and rushed outside with a garden pole in an attempt to help. Oh, there's a woman in the lake, the alligator's daughter. An alligator has a woman. It's a huge gator. It's huge. Can you pull her under? Yes. Oh, no. A 
was trying to stick a pole out for her. Okay. She's gone. When she reached the scene, her heart sank as Gloria was lifeless in the water, floating on the surface while the alligator tugged at her. Carol extended the pole toward Gloria, desperately hoping she could grab it and be pulled to safety. Sadly, it was too late. Gloria had already lost her life, and the alligator quickly took her body, leaving Carol to watch as it disappeared beneath the murky water. After Gloria's body was recovered from the water, authorities determined that she had sustained extensive injuries as the alligator had begun to consume her before she was pulled from the water. The only course of action was to capture the alligator. Wildlife experts conducted an extensive search and located the creature at the lake's bottom. After capturing the 10-foot-long alligator, it was decided that an animal of that size could not continue to reside in the lake, especially after it had attacked the resident living in the area. The retirement community owners initiated an extermination effort to ensure the safety of their residents. They cleared as many of the lakes as possible and relocated any other reptiles they found. Sadly, Gloria was the third alligator attack victim in Florida in the past six months, prompting authorities to issue warnings to locals to stay away from large bodies of water, especially when accompanied by their pets. Gloria's sacrifice demonstrated the extraordinary lengths people will go to protect their animals. Fortunately, Trooper survived the ordeal and was eventually placed with Gloria's family, saved from the clutches of an alligator by a woman who protected him with her last breath.